Every single day you make a decision that could be either for you or for your relationship. You choose to stay in your marriage. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. It's Kyla Denayo, and today we are talking about choices, all right? Specifically choices around being married. So today we are talking all about the book, The Half Moon. The author of the book is Mary Beth Keen. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature, all right? So The Half Moon is so many things. So the book follows Malcolm and Jess. And so they are married, but they have a number of complications, all right? For one, Malcolm runs this bar. He ends up buying the bar. He lies about how he got the bar from Jess. And Jess and Malcolm decide that they want to have a child. Jess lies to Malcolm about how much she wants to keep trying for a baby. They end up having their whole complication and Jess just wants to be around other kids, right? Whether that is hanging out with friends that have more kids. And so Malcolm sees how much that is hurting Jess when they keep trying and then they're not getting pregnant. And so Malcolm's like, let's stop trying, let's stop paying for the IVF. And Jess says, okay. And she's lying to herself. It's really heartbreaking to see because she lies about being okay with moving on with not having a baby. And then she finds herself attracted to men that have children. And then for Malcolm, his choice to buy the bar without having a lawyer look at the paperwork, without telling his wife the truth, without doing all of the things, right? His choices get them into a lot of trouble because he doesn't think he's choosing the bar over his marriage, but he is. And Jess doesn't think she's choosing a baby over their relationship, but she is. And then at the end of the book, they both decide to choose each other. Every single day you make a decision that could be either for you or for your relationship. But we stop to see them as choices because we just get so used to doing them all the time. But they're all choices. And to wrap it all up, <laughs> Malcolm and Jess have to get together and be honest with each other and say, do we choose to be together? Do we choose to stay in this marriage? Do we choose to see what will happen in the next 10 and 15 and 25 years of our marriage by making a decision today to stay together and making a decision tomorrow to stay together? And sometimes making a decision at this hour to stay together, right? They have some really big, complicated things. Foreclosure bankruptcy, parenting. Those are all really big decisions. So would I reread the book, The Half Moon? I would definitely read it again. And if you like other books about complicated relationships, take a look at this review here about One True Loves. Yeah, One True Love, but two people, One True Loves, very complicated, very good. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in the next review.